Welcome to a short video on calculating present values. Present value calculations are required by many accounting standards, so it's useful to know both why we do so as well as how. When a liability, for example, is recognised in the balance sheet, it is done so using today's dollars. If we expect to pay someone $10,000 in three years' time, we can't simply recognise a $10,000 liability on a balance sheet today, because $10,000 today is not the same as $10,000 in three years we need to take into account the time value of money. All we want to do is to determine what $10,000 is worth today, and we do that by discounting it using the discount rate provided. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that we have been provided with a discount rate. In reality, professional judgment is required to determine what this is. Actually, while we're talking about professional judgment, often determining many of the cash flows we're discounting require professional judgment too. There are a number of ways to calculate the present value of a future cash flow or cash flows. These include using present value formula, present value tables, a financial calculator, or the use of a spreadsheet program such as Microsoft Excel. First, using the present value formula. The present value formula for a single future cash flow is the cash flow at time n divided by 1 plus the discount rate all to the power of n. N is when the cash flow occurs. Taking the $10,000 in three years we discussed earlier and assuming a discount rate of 10%, we would get $10,000 divided by 1.1 to the power of three, which, when worked through, gives you $7,513. So $7,513 today is equivalent to $10,000 in three years using a 10% discount rate. You'll often find that you need to calculate recurring payments, and repeating the above process is time consuming. If you have an annuity, which is a stream of equal cash flows at equal intervals for a finite period, you can use the annuity formula, which is 1 minus 1 plus the discount rate, all to the power of n, all divided by the discount rate, and then multiplied by the periodic cash flow. So, instead of a one off payment in three years' time of $10,000, we have a $10,000 payment at the end of each year for three years, all discounted at 10%. This gives us 1 minus 1.1 to the power of minus 3, all divided by 0.1, and then multiplied by the payment of $10,000. Work that all through, and we end up with $24,869. An alternative to using the formula is to take advantage of present value tables, which are available in the appendices of most accounting and finance textbooks. A quick search on Google will usually turn up a few results too. There are two different tables which you are interested in. The present value table of a future dollar and the present value table of annuity of a dollar. To get the present value of a one-off payment of $10,000 in three years time using a 10% discount rate, we turn to the present value table of a future dollar and find the intersection of three years and 10%. This turns out to be 0.751. We then multiply $10,000 by that present value factor, and voila, we have $7,510. You'll note it is a little different. This difference is caused by rounding and won't be a problem in exams. To get the present value of the three yearly payments of $10,000 using a 10% discount rate, we do the same thing, but with the present value table of an annuity of a dollar. This intersection leads to a present value factor of 2.487. We then multiply that by the $10,000 payment, just one of the payments, and we get $24,870, which is again really similar to what we did before. A third method to calculate a present value is to use a financial calculator. If you have one, feel free to use it. I haven't used one in about 10 years, so I'm not well placed to guide you, but I'm sure the interweb will be of assistance. Lastly, you could use a spreadsheet program, such as Microsoft Excel. The net present value function is an easy way to go about it. So what we have here is, we put in the rate, put in time 1, time 2, time 3, and net present value. In rate, we put 10%. In time 1, we put 0. In time 2, we put 0. In time 3, we put $10,000 because we're trying to find out the net present value of $10,000 in three years. Put equals NPV parentheses 
click on the cell, which includes the rate, comma, select the three cash flows at time one, time two, and time three, close parentheses, tidy that up, and we end up with $7,513. To do this for the annuity, same thing, 10%, but $10,000, $10,000, $10,000, and we just drag this across to repeat the formula, and we end up with $24,869. I hope that helps. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, you can either leave them here on this video or tweet me at Dr. Dave Bond.